guys, it's Krista from Covering the Bases, and today we're going to be doing a Snapchat Q&A. So if you're not following me on Snapchat already, you should. Username right here. I asked you guys to send in your questions, so here we go. Lala12OBX says, Did you always know you wanted to do your own blog and living in she asked, did you always know you wanted to do a blog and live in New York City? Answer, no and no. So I started my blog senior year of college, but it was like not really anything. And then I picked it up when I moved to New York because I wanted an outlet to write and have like a creative space because I was like doing all this stuff in baseball, but I had this other passion in fashion. Passion in fashion. So I just wanted something else. So answer the first part of the question. Answer two to that question, did I always know I wanted to live in New York? No. I was a southern girl through and through. Next question, joy to the world 34. Why don't you do more YouTube videos more often? I'm trying to. So I don't know if you know, but the whole process takes a long time. So you have to get ready, you have to think of an idea, you have to film it, and then you have to edit it, and then you have to put it out. And so like the whole process for about each video takes about a week. But what I'm trying to do is film on the weekends, edit during the weekend as well, and then put them out every Thursday. So make sure to subscribe because new videos every Thursday and I'm going to try to keep up with them more and I've been doing a pretty good job not to to my own horn or anything, but I have been. The next question comes from Eileen Starnes 29 What's your favorite accessory? She asked what my favorite accessory was. My favorite accessory, definitely pearl earrings, even though I'm not wearing them right now because I forgot to put them in this morning. Pearl earrings are so classy, they're timeless, and they're just perfect. Elle Fisher just asked, what are your top blog tips? My top blog tips would be to invest in a good camera because you need really beautiful photography. And then my second blog tip would be to invest your time wisely because it's a lot of work to, you know, curate the looks, shoot them, edit them, post them, and you're doing it five times a week. That's like a full-time job in itself. And then another question was, Tips for gaining more readers. Consistency. Consistency is key because they know that if you're posting content Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. every day, they're gonna come back and constantly check. Because there's nothing more annoying than going to your favorite blog and realizing they haven't posted anything. So it's like, well, why do I have to waste my time going to your blog if you're not gonna post anything? Jillian Drexler asks, how did you get into blogging? So I got into blogging senior year of college because I was bored and my friend at the boutique I was working at was like, you should start a blog. And I was like, nah. And then one day I was home alone and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll do it. And so I just did it and I kind of stuck with it. Tay McKenzie B45 said, do you think anyone interested in being in a sorority should go through the process of recruitment? Yes, because I do think sororities are great for meeting new people, for getting involved on campus, for helping transition into college. If you want to be a sorority, definitely go through recruitment. And if nothing else, try it out. If you don't like it, quit. Sophie Anders asks, how do you increase your blog traffic and get your blog noticed and popular? So I think the biggest part of growing traffic to your blog comes in two parts. One being social media. Social media is like the biggest driver of traffic Ever. That's like across the board for anybody, but especially for blogs. And number two is to connect with other bloggers. So it's always great to team up with other bloggers, do a giveaway, uh, do a shout out, do like a takeover of like a day of uh, guest feature, anything like that. AE Radar Raider asks, do you ever miss living in Kentucky? Yes. I miss living in Kentucky a lot. So I went to anyone who doesn't know, I went to school there. I lived in Lexington for four years. I never went home over the summer, so I actually lived in Lexington. My driver's license says Lexington, Kentucky, which I probably should get changed because it's been a couple years. If I could go back and do four years of college again, I totally would, and I would do it the same. So anyone who's looking into colleges, University of Kentucky will blow you away. Whitlun asks, which celebrity would you say represents, I don't get this one, it reads, which celebrity would you say your stay represents the most? I don't know what that means, but I'm going to answer Beyonce because we're like twins. But I'll answer your second question. If you could travel to five places right now, where would they be? San Francisco, Maldives, St. Lucia. I would go back to Ireland. And five would be Santorini. Hashtag life goals. The Red Violin 3 says, Hi Krista, 
I have some questions for your Q&A. Thanks. What advice would you give to a blogger just starting out and who do you think is going to win the World Series? Great question. I would say to make sure that you're in it for the right reasons because if you get into it for the wrong reasons, you're going to hate it. And then set your second question, which I love, is who do you think is going to win the World Series? And she said, go Cardinals. I would love to see the Cubs win the World Series. As a baseball fan, and especially being from Chicago, so I'm a semi-Cubs fan, the Cubs winning the World Series would be the best thing to ever happen in baseball ever. If you don't know, they haven't won since 1908. So I want them to win the World Series. Who do I think is going to win? I don't know. Baseball is so weird. I literally didn't think it happened. Anything. Sophia Mears asks, Who are some of your blogger besties? Well, Sophia, let me tell you. Of course, I'm going to leave a lot of people off this list because I have a lot of really good blogger friends, but I'm just going to name five off the top of my head in no particular order. Uh, Caitlin of Southern Curls and Pearls, Katie of Katie's Bliss, Sydney of Summer Wind, Courtney of Color Me Courtney, and Grace of Southern Draw. Those are the girls probably I talk to like on a weekly basis, multiple times a week. Lib, Ron, Irex asked, Hi Krista, my question is, where are your recommendations for a place to get discounted designer clothes, bag, jewelry, etc.? This poor grad student still has to look good, thanks you rocked on over change, XOXO, low bro. XOXO, Krista, love your question. The best place to get discounted designer clothes, bags, jewelry, etc. is eBay, The Real Real, and Fashion File. I'll leave links to everything down below. Make sure to check that out because they're the best and they'll save you a ton of money. XOXO, Krista. Official Nat P says, what do you major in college? I heard, wait, she's sending another question. Oh, what sorority were you in? Okay, so I majored in communications and I was an alpha phi at the University of Kentucky. Woo! Heartfilled Star says, Person from Scotland, and um, my question is, do you see yourself still living in New York in five years' time? Oh my god, she had the cutest accent ever. Heartfilled Star, I'm obsessed with you. You're an island, so can I come stay over? Um, she asked, "Would do I see myself in New York in five years' time? I have no idea. I said when I moved here, I said two years max, and then two years came and I was like, I'm not ready to leave yet. So maybe I say five year max and I'm not ready to leave yet then. Maybe I leave next week. I have no idea. I never say never because when I do that, the never thing actually happens. Fep, Fepalapam asks, Hi, sending one from San Francisco. I am so sad that I wasn't here when you were here. But what's your favorite food? She asked, what's my favorite food? My favorite food is any type of meat. Yes, 2016 asks, hi, how are you? Doing great. LD Lily Dominguez asked, my friends and I are going to NYC in November and we need some guidance for tackling the Big Apple. Must see places and restaurants. Thank you, with the heart emojis. Well, thank you with the heart emojis. Must see places, Central Park, Top of the Rock, Top of the of One World Trade. Best places to eat, cook shop. I'm obsessed with cook shop, obsessed. Cook shop for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They're all amazing, I've had them in, oh, they're so good. Cook shop in Chelsea. Sarah Beth's is a really good place for brunch and they have locations all over the city. And then third, uh, Brother Jimmy's because you can get really drunk and have really good fried, healthy, food uh, for really cheap and you can like see a lot of cute boys or girls if you're into that. So cook shop, <laughs> Sarah Beth's, Brother Jimmy's. Woo! Somebody didn't listen to the rules but they asked a question on my Instagram. She said, how do you balance work and blogging? I have a really good schedule so I work in the morning from 9 to 6 p.m. most days, sometimes a little later and then the moment I come home I get on my computer and I'm blogging. So I blog from like 6 or 7 to around minute or 1 a.m. So that's like the quickest way I can say I balance working and blogging. Next question comes from Emily Mitzfit. Mitzfit. She said, do you work in the fashion industry and if so, what do you do? Any advice for aspiring fashionistas? No, I don't work in the fashion, fashion, uh, blah, 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 blah. no, I don't work in the fashion industry. I actually work in the sports industry. Uh, I work for Major League Baseball. If you don't know, I do social media for them and part of their social media group. Any advice for aspiring fashionistas? Yes. Network, network, and network. That is the key to getting a job. Anything you want to do, 
that is it for the Snapchat questions because my camera is about to die and I think I answered a lot. Uh oh, it's like a bye. So make sure to be following me on Snapchat in case I do another one of these things because you're probably really sad you missed out. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because that means I know you like it and that means I will do more.